Hey everyone, Delaney and I are back to give you a recipe using and I Shakeology. Help taste for helping mommy bake. So lots of you have been telling me that you have extra Shakeology around the house, and that happens to me too, lots of times. And I like to always have on hand some Shakeology protein energy bars, just because I often you like, like to eat my Shakeology you instead like, of drink you, it. You I like don't, your Shakeology. <laughs> I you love like, my Shakeology. Do you like Shakeology? Yeah, I yeah. like milk too. Yeah, and yeah. Water. Milk Juice. and water. Okay, so we today, I'm going to make something called Tropical Berry Energy Bars. And mm -hmm. I'm going to use, the recipe actually called for all Tropical Berry Shakeology, but I actually did a little bit of a mixture. I did half chocolate and half tropical berry. So two scoops of chocolate and two scoops of the tropical berry. So that's gonna go in our bowl. And then we have two scoops of oatmeal. Do you wanna put that in, Delaney? Awesome, thank now you. Now I can stir. Yep, and now we're just gonna stir that up. Good job. Perfect, can I boil this? Yeah, you can boil yeah. it. This is great. Okay, so if you just kind of stir that up, make sure everything gets mixed. And then we will add the rest Mommy's of the ingredients. Mommy's my healthy stuff. <laughs> Thank goodness you have this stir here, Delaney. Okay, you can have that back. So first we're gonna add a quarter cup of dried cranberries. Can I put that in? Yeah. Thank you. Now I'm gonna stir. Perfect. And we have a cup of, I am using unsweetened can, almond milk. Can I do it? How about I pour it in okay. there? You can start to stir it, but be gentle. I'm going to use um, a teaspoon of cinnamon, ground cinnamon, and this is thanks to one of my challengers, I've got special Epicure cinnamon. So a teaspoon of that. I'm gonna put all the ingredients on the comments below, so no worries about having to remember all of this. And then I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of vanilla. D can Delaney, do just, just be careful, okay? Okay, can I do it? You can stir. There we go. And last but not least, we've got a half a cup. And it the recipe did call for natural almond butter. I have peanut butter in the house right now, so this is just natural peanut butter. So this is just an easy way to be able to have sort of something a little bit more and like a meal that you can chew. Quakey and that you can chew instead of having to drink your Shakeology. I love my Shakeology every day, but sometimes I really do like to have a bar or a cookie or something like that. And I have that these in place of my Shakeology during the day. So I know that I'm still getting my vitamin source from my Shakeology, but I get to chew it instead of drink it. Okay, so we're just gonna stir that up. You gonna help me? It's pretty tough to stir, isn't it, Delaney? And you can either make these into balls or bars. I think today I'm just gonna put it in a glass um, baking dish, just flatten it out, and then I'll um, cool them. They go into the refrigerator for a couple hours to just get them really firm and cool. So it is a little bit sticky, so I just end up putting my hands in there and getting everything combined. How's it taste, Delaney? Good. Good? Clean hands, of course. And then we're just gonna put it in the baking glass baking dish. Just an eight by eight glass baking dish. It is, it, they are pretty sticky when you first uh, first mix them with all the peanut butter, but just flatten this down as best you can and then put it in the fridge for a couple hours and it'll cool and firm and then you can cut them. And I usually um, put two, two to a serving and I usually package them separately in Ziplocs and just have them ready to go. So I hope that helps everyone use up some of their extra and Shakeology. Use a hand print. It's a nice little snack for all of us, right, Delaney? Right. Can you say bye to everybody? Bye. Thanks so much. We'll see you guys soon.